Hey guys, I'm out here in the sunroom. It's so pretty today. It's cold outside, but it's warm in here in the sunroom. I want to um, apprise you of what's going on with this video. Not only will you be able to see a blooper at the end if you uh, stick to it at, all the way to the end, but right in the middle of this, I don't know what I was thinking, but see if you can catch the mistake I'm making as I'm just sailing along with the recipe, talking about all the ingredients, and then I miss out on something a little important. I just, I just failed to mention it. But see if you can catch this. Trust me, it's so much easier to sit back in your living room and say, I could do a recipe video, but man, when you got two cameras going and you got things buzzing and recipes overlapping and things in the background, you don't want to be seen like, you know, personal things like pictures and things like that. You don't have people's permission of. It's hard to get it all done at one time. And I am the worst. Hopefully we're going to get better at this, but I apologize for all the goof ups, but the blooper at the end is kind of funny, but just the fact that I left out such an important thing in this recipe is cracking me. Well, it wasn't cracking me up when I first saw it. I was like, what in the world am I thinking? But it gets funnier as it goes along, so I want to share it with you. Just know we're human. These are hard. These are harder to do than what it looks like on TV. I promise. I am not a TV person at all. I I cook. I cook. I really love to cook, but I'm not usually talking to anybody except my dogs, and they don't even know what I'm saying. So, anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to watch these, and just know. This isn't meant to be a comedy, but it turned out being one kind of at the end by the time I looked at it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoy the recipe, too. Thanks, guys. Hey, folks. Welcome back to She's At It Again. And today, we are going to make probably one of the best muffins that you will ever try, or your friends will ever try, or your guests will actually fight over. And the reason I say that is because years ago, the first time... I kind of experimented with this recipe. I took these muffins to uh, some kind of shower or some kind of ladies get together that we had from church. And it was at someone's house, it was at a friend's house and I just made regular size muffins. And before I knew it, there was a scuffle in the kitchen. It wasn't a fight, but people were asking, can you divide those in half because everybody's wanting one. And it was my muffins, I was so excited. It wasn't like I invented the things but I had brought something that people were enjoying so much and that makes my heart happy. So with just ever so slight amount of sweetness to these, these are a savory muffin. These are sausage cheddar muffins. And in our last video, we made homemade sausage. So I took a half a pound of what I made during that, reserved it for this recipe. So let's get started. In our bowl, we have two cups of all-purpose flour. Now, I buy organic flour. Organic flour is unbleached. Bleached flour is bleached not to give it a different color, but to give it a longer shelf life. It's a preservation process that um, our supermarkets use or food producers use. Just gives it a longer shelf life. If they don't sell that flour in six months, it's not going to have an off taste or off color. But the downside to that is the process they use, it's a chemical process, not just putting it out in sunlight, which would be a natural bleaching process for flour, but they use a chemical process and that is considered a carcinogen, the items that they use in this process. Um, so that's why we steer clear of that. Just a little FYI. So unbleached flour, Worst case scenario, just plain conventional unbleached flour. But if you really want to go uh, kick it up a notch, just go with some organic plain flour. So we have two cups of that in our bowl. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon of baking powder. And again, I buy this kind because it does not have aluminum in it. To that, we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I have my oven preheating to 375, and I already have my muffin tins coated with a good coating of coconut oil. You can use butter or um, 
whatever oil you prefer, but I have mine coated with coconut oil. These actually come out of a pan pretty easily, so you're not gonna have much of a sticking problem. Mix the baking powder and the salt into the flour. And in a saucepan, I have heated up a cup of milk and a fourth of a cup of butter and two tablespoons of honey. Now there's where your sweetness comes in. Normally you would put sugar in something like this. Sugar doesn't have a benefit, honey has a benefit. There are more calories, but you get more benefit to honey. It's an actual real food product that your body utilizes better. So in this, again, a cup of milk, a fourth of a cup of butter, two tablespoons of honey, and I've heated it up just slightly enough to where the butter has melted. So we're gonna add this to our flour mixture. And I got that little saucepan here while back at the Goodwill. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And it has measurements on the side that I can see from the inside. So that was my good find for the day here while back. Anything stainless steel catches my eye because I know I can bake with it in the oven, I can put it on the stove top. Just, I'm just like a, a chicken after a shiny piece of glass in the chicken yard. I can spot that stainless steel and check it out. Just mix it enough to where it all gets wet to that. We're going to add an egg. Just one egg. I keep these muffins after I bake them in the refrigerator in a container and then I take them out one each day and heat it up for my breakfast. That's not the only thing I eat. I eat a big breakfast, but that's one of the things I eat for breakfast. And it is so good. I go between that, the sausage cheddar muffins and blueberry muffins, which also are sweetened with honey. But those are two of my favorites. To this, we're gonna add, this recipe calls for a half a cup of shredded cheddar, but We just kind of have the saying in our family, there's just never too much cheese. So we'll just say it's a little more than a half a cup, but you add however how much, ever how much you want in there. The recipe calls for a half a cup, but go up to a cup, just make it like you like it. There's no rule on the cheese. See what I mean? We're kind of cheeseaholics at our house. batter gets a little bit stiff when you get toward the end of it, but just don't over mix it too much. Just enough so you don't have big blobs of sausage in one place and then more batter than anything else in another. All right, I've already buttered my ice cream scoop. This is an ice cream dasher. And I buttered the inside and the outside so it'll release that dough pretty easily. Just scrape it against the edge of the bowl and you're gonna have about that much in each scoop. So if you can see that. These also make great gifts for someone who 
is kind of feeling under the weather because they can eat it as a snack or they can eat it as actually a meal. It's almost like having a sandwich. But um, I've never had anybody complain that they didn't like these. They're just really well accepted when you take them anywhere. Have a little bit of batter left, so we're going to kind of distribute this as needed in the pan. So while these are baking, I'll be over there washing all my dishes. We'll set the timer for 20 minutes. And we'll check on them when they come out of the oven. Okay, guys, they're ready. Is that not the prettiest sheet of muffins, pan of muffins you've ever seen? Let's see if I can get a close up of them over here. These smell so good, it's really hard to wait to eat these. Okay, so now this is why we make homemade sausage from bulk ground pork because there's so many good things to make with it and you don't need the sugar. You certainly don't need the MSG, which is just a flavor enhancer. It's not a preservative. It's not anything like that. It's something that your body doesn't need. But this is good, clean sausage made into the most delicious muffins you'll ever have. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to the next video.